Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa and I am here this morning with a haul video for you. Uh, I went out today to a um, yard sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call it, uh, just down the road for me. Uh, it was a big one because it is a fundraiser for a private school in the area, so uh, almost, almost like a rummage sale in a way. Um, a lot of donated stuff and then they're selling it uh, to raise money for the school. And um, so I went to that and then the other day I did hit a couple of thrift stores while I was out. So I'm going to show you what I picked up today and the other day at the thrift stores. Okay, so I spent $12 this morning at the yard sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call it. Um, I spent $33 the other day at the Salvation Army and I don't remember what I spent at the other thrift store. I can't find my receipt at the moment, but I think I spent about $27. Um, somewhere around there. So I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. I'm gonna start with the thrift stores because I have um, this box from the one thrift store where I don't know how much I spent, but I think it was $27. I'm not sure. Um, so I got this bag, it's $3 for the lot here. And these are a few different um, cut and sew fabric panel things. Um, this one is a teddy bear with a little outfit there. Um, a cute little dress, so girl teddy bear. And then this is actually maybe one big thing, um, but uh, all baby stuff. Daisy Kingdom, um, if you're familiar with that. Um, but it's a boy, it's a girl. Um, anyway, cute printable, uh, printed uh, cut and sew things. So, so I'm gonna sell those on Etsy. Um, I bought this here, whoa! <laughs> uh, I bought this a typewriter here. I'm going to take this ribbon off because that's old anyway. Um, although I will use it to test it and make sure it's all working and printing. It's a Texas Instruments, uh, I don't know, TI5032SV, if that means anything to you. Um, it was $4, um, but I looked it up and used, they're going for a decent amount on Amazon, so I'm going to try and sell it there after I test it and make sure that it is working. So uh, it's a little bit of a gamble. Um, this is a new sealed package of artist photo canvas uh, printable paper. And uh, when I look this up, there I don't think there's any actually um, available at the moment on Amazon, or there might have been one Merchant Fulfilled, I don't remember. But the list price on this was something like $79 or something crazy like that. Um, this package was $3, so I am going to send it off to Amazon and hopefully make some money. Um, I got two things of Depends underwear. Uh, it's a size large 18 count package. They were $4.50 a piece. Um, these are brand new sealed. Uh, they're gonna go to Amazon and I'm gonna see if I can sell those and make some money. And I just found my receipt. Um, so yes, I spent, oh, I have a good memory. I spent $27.19. And um, this, is, this is just a new sealed CD. Um, Puddle of Mud. I think I've actually heard of them. I don't know that I actually know any of their songs, but um, that's because I'm out of it and not really up on things. Got a new sealed latch hook, latch hook kit to go off to Amazon. It is, uh, it was $3. So it's maybe the strangest thing I picked up, um, but kind of cool. It's actually to go in a wall, um, so like a 3D wall. Uh, plaque sculpture thing that's in the shape of Sherlock Holmes. A very uh, very 1970s looking Sherlock Holmes, I think, with that, that mustache there. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna list that on Etsy and I, I think someone will actually buy that. Uh, also to go on Etsy is a set of playing cards in the case. Um, it's a double deck. I, can't remember now. I don't think they're both the same. There's two different scenes, I believe. Anyway, um, photo printed, and um, yeah, there's two different scenes. I can't even get these out of here because they're all. Uh, but yeah, there's. Oh no, that's the same one. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a cabin, and then there's uh, this mountain scene there. Oh, and this was a dollar for the, the set. Um, so I will have to check and make sure that we have two complete decks here. What's going on? So guys, that is everything I picked up at the first thrift store, and then I'm gonna show you the Salvation Army stuff next. 
Okay, so like I said, I spent $33 and change at the Salvation Army. Um, I got some books. Um, this is a slipcase set, the Silesian Trilogy, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I think I've sold this before. Uh, it seems really familiar to me. Not a lot of value in it, but um, this set was... I would have to stick around. I think it was $1.99 for the set. Um, this also was $1.99, the Inner Journey Views from the Buddhist Tradition. Um, these are all going on Amazon. I can make some money. Um, this is one of these Images of America historical books. This is on Tacony. And this is a, a cookbook. Uh, this one was $3.99. Um, and it is Icaria. Icaria? I don't know. I think those were all the books that I picked up there. I got a couple of new sealed games too. Um, this one is Password, which is actually, a, this is like a computer or DVD type game, I guess, because um, there's like 3D glasses and stuff that comes with it. Anyway, this was $2.99. That's to go on Amazon. Um, this one was $2.99 as well. It's the Twilight Saga Seen It Edition. Um, and uh, believe it or not, there's actually some money to be made on that. Not a lot of money, but uh, I'll make back my investment on that. I picked up some dish gloves for me. They were $1.99. And uh, winter's coming. Washing dishes dries out my hands. Picked up... Um, well, I picked up this, this is actually one more book, um, Beatrix Potter book for 49 cents. Um, I usually lot these together and sell them on Etsy. Um, this one's not super old. It's from, let me think, let me see here. I want to say like 1990 or something like that. Um, uh, 1989, but, um, yeah, with some others I'll, I'll put together and sell those on, on Etsy. Um, got some new sealed CDs. Christmas is coming. This one's a Christmas one by someone I've never heard of. This one is something for kids. Um, it's like a Christian kind of theme. Uh, this is uh, Refreshing Times. Also looks kind of Christian to me. And Overcome, who I've never heard of. Um, but anyway, yeah. This is new and sealed. Um, this is $1.99. There's actually a $2.99 sticker here, but that's not... Salvation Army's tag. And um, it's an Energizer camcorder uh, battery that replaces certain ones for Hitachi and Panasonic camcorders. Um, but there's money to be made on Amazon with that. Uh, there's also money to be made on Amazon with this charger for some old school phone. Um, actually, charges an iPhone, but like an old iPhone. Um, and it was $2.99. It's, it's new and sealed, so it's kind of funny that it's sold as is, but uh, originally this sold for $29.99 um, at the AT&T store, I guess. And uh, these are to go on Etsy. Uh, they're just some napkins um, from Hallmark, beverage napkins, cocktail napkins, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's a package of 20. Um, some great vintage lettering up on there, and these are 49 cents. And um, let me show you the stuff that I picked up at the garage sale thing. Um, got another new sealed game. This one is Geo Bingo. By the way, this sale is outside and um, it's cold here now. You know, it, it's getting into late October, so it's getting colder here. They probably put the stuff out the night before and because it was cold, you know, we had dew in the morning and so everything was wet like they had all this stuff on tables most of it there was some stuff on the ground but most of it was up on tables but still got wet and so like everything was wet i had to like dry stuff off when i got home and there's some stuff i passed up because it was like I, I don't know if it's ruined you know because it got all damp um but anyway geo bingo which i'm gonna sell on amazon i think this was two dollars and um this was two dollars too i think i can also sell this on amazon it's leather treatment by tst um, even though it looks like it's for cars, you know, by the picture on it there, I guess it could be used for anything. It wasn't listed in the automotive category when I looked it up. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. Um, might actually just keep it. It's a pumpkin gutter from Williams Sonoma, which I've never actually seen before. Um, we did already carve our pumpkin, so we're not going to use it this year. Um, but maybe next year. Anyway, it was 50 cents. Oh, another calculator. This one, um, also Texas Instruments, uh, TI-30X2S. 
um, and looked it up on Amazon. There's some money to be made. Uh, this one I could test and see it worked. There's a name that I'm going to see if I can get that off. Um, probably with the Magic Rub Eraser. And um, yeah, it has the has the case thing with it. Also, it's uh, got a little cheat sheet card for the different codes and stuff. Um, so that I can sell on Amazon. This is a new sealed item also to go on Amazon. This is a tornado can opener. Uh, it was $4 in the store. It was originally sold for, well, sold for $19.99. has a compare to price of $24.99. Um, I don't think it's going for quite that much on Amazon, but um, I think you can make like six or seven bucks on it. Margaret from Texas Gal Treasures is always buying these. Um, so I picked this one up. It was 10 cents, so I uh, couldn't pass up that deal. It's a little rickety um, and it's a funky color, which actually might help it sell, but um, sell it on Etsy. And uh, what else did I get? I got some fiber fill. Um, this is just a brand new bag of it for a dollar. That's for me, you know, if I make like a pillow or plush animal or something like that. Um, so it comes in handy and uh, that's a good price. I got this thing here, which is a, um, it's Alice in Wonderland. It's actually a watercolor paint set for kids. Um, it was made, it was made by Ashby in England. Um, not vintage, um, not that old, but I think I'm going to sell it on eBay. I actually thought about keeping it for myself because I do collect Alice in Wonderland stuff, but this thing is really big and doesn't fit in my display case and I don't really need it, although it is kind of neat. So I'll see if I can sell it on eBay. If not, I, I might keep it. And then finally, I think the last thing I got there, well, this is a really dirty case, um, but inside this really dirty case is a Sony with a manual here, um, portable CD DVD player um, with the screen like that. Um, now, what is not included is the charger. Um, so I, I'm gonna have to see, I have a charger. I don't know if it'll work with this. And uh, so I'll have to see if it will. It's a Sony charger, but I don't know if they're all compatible. They probably aren't. So um, if that doesn't work, there are a ton of aftermarket um, chargers available. I know because when I was trying to look this up, on uh, an Amazon to see how much I could sell it for, um, I found like, you know, I don't know, 50 listings for, for chargers for this thing. Um, so I might shell out the money for a, uh, a charger and see if I can get to work. Um, it seems like it's in good condition. The fact that it has a manual with it was in this case uh, makes me think it was well taken care of um, and maybe they just lost the charger or broke it or something. Um, but yeah, hopefully it works. I paid two dollars for this with the case um the case alone i could probably clean it up and sell that on ebay because it is a nice case it's targus which is a good brand and it seems like it's made specifically um for one of these uh so it fits perfectly in here it's got like a little um little hook even to hold it in place on this velcro strap so i'm gonna try and test this if i can or even like buy a charger to test it and see if i can sell it on amazon so guys that i think let me just check. I'm pretty sure that's everything I picked up at the thrift stores and at the yard sale. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you. I don't know how many months down the road and make a follow-up video and show you what I actually sold. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I do try to put out new videos on a regular basis. I have fallen behind lately because I have been busy um, with the holidays coming up, uh, trying to get my stores up and running and um, between Etsy and Amazon, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty busy. Um, but uh, I will try to make more videos for you. I do put out videos every Friday showing different vintage items I sell in my Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa, and um, from time to time some other videos like this haul video and haul follow-up videos and other helpful videos on selling online. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or uh, leave a comment below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Happy selling, everyone.